What is up y'all, this is JT. I'm gonna do an experiment with the mid torque and this is the subcompact, the newer one. Oops. And uh, I'm gonna tighten these all the way down with the mid torque, which is supposed to be around like 420. And then we're gonna see if we can pull them off with this, which uh, I did this ex same exact test with the Makita mid torque. And it could not pull them off. Or it struggled at least. Yeah, I know I'm using an extension to keep from breaking the lug nut. in speed three let's do a little bit of auto uh, always self tighten or self start if you want to cross your threads and then uh, go for it so that's as tight as those go and I guess we could see how tight it got them. All right, so we got a torque wrench. It's set to 100. Oh wow. That's no good. Let's put it up to like 120. Okay. I think you get the point there. Don't use auto. Auto mode, no good. does do a good job in uh, loosening. It, it kind of starts off slow and then it ramps up. And also I've got a octane battery on. It came in the kit for $172. It came with um, a 4 amp hour high output and a 2 amp hour maximum. What are, I don't know what they call it. Maximum something. These need to be lightly put back on and so this put it on all the way with yes a six inch extension but like I said that's to keep from breaking off the studs or breaking the lug and then we gotta set this to a hundred which is what I usually set them to and we'll tighten them down So having this little bad boy in your trunk, you're not going to run into any trouble as far as I can tell. Maybe if you have a huge diesel, but I'm not sure why it spins full speed in, uh, in forward on auto. But yeah, keep one of these in your trunk. Like I said, this kit I got for 169 plus tax and it came with a two amp hour battery and a four amp hour battery. I just didn't open the battery yet. So I've got my octane battery and it does not have octane plugs. As you can see, there's four. Yeah, there's four in there and it only fits two. This one, actually, it doesn't have them either. Weird. Oh yeah, it does on the outside. Here we go. 
So it has them on the outside. Let's see if this has it. Nope. So this is non-octane at all. And when I did the same exact test with the Makita mid-torque, it could not or struggled to get them off. So that's a good example of that. Maybe I'll do some more.